Do you need to add footnotes to your manuscript in Scrivener 3 for Windows? Then you need the footnotes function. There are two ways of displaying footnotes in your manuscript, but both will print in whatever format you decide and compile, so which you use is down to preference. The first is found in the inspector under the speech bubble icon. Place your cursor in the text where you want the footnote mark to be in your final document and then press on the CF above the panel. The word you click next to will be highlighted to indicate there is a footnote attached. Within the box in the inspector, you can type your footnote text. If you want to delete a footnote, simply click the cross in the box. If you have the inspector closed, you can open up the footnotes by clicking on them, or you can see the text by hovering over them. The second way to add footnotes is by doing them in line. To do this, click where you want the footnote and either go to the Insert menu and select Inline Footnote, or press Alt, Shift and F5. The footnote will then appear in a highlighted box as you type. This type of footnote can be deleted by highlighting as you would any normal text. If you decide you want to change your footnotes from inspector to inline or vice versa, go to the edit menu and transformations and choose the required option. You will need to be clicked into each individual document to do this. There are a few display options under the editing tab in options in the file menu if you wish to change font for example, but these are just Scrivener display options. Formats for output documents are selected in Compile. Now you may be wondering about numbering. That's all dealt with in Compile, so you don't have to worry about adding new footnotes in between others. And compiling with footnotes is what we'll be talking about next time.